What's going on? This is Pyro here back today. Actually on the Minecraft server. Would you believe it? Are pigs flying? Is the world coming to an end? Have I won the lottery? Probably not. But I am back on the Minecraft server today. And I figured that seeing as there was a growing amount of people asking on my channel. Oh, Lag City. Yay. <laughs> there was a growing amount of people asking on my channel where Minecraft and Minecraft was. And I haven't actually posted any of it in a bit. Oh my gosh. Huh? I have four bars. I'm wondering why it's lagging for. Um, but I figured it was probably my best interest to an update video. Um, or basically just to, you know, say what's happening in regards to it. So I took a break about a month ago. And I'm not just quite ready to come back regularly yet. I just don't want to put anybody's hopes up in case you're watching this. But... I do have plans to come back to it in the future. Um, one of the main reasons why I stopped posting Minecraft last month was because I was going through a period of YouTube where I was really starting not to enjoy anything. I just really resented posting content in general and I was very apathetic towards everything. You know, when I tried to do work, I just felt like it wasn't good enough or I felt like it was pointless. And really, it wasn't a good period for myself. Uh, so I just decided to drop stuff that wasn't uh, making me feel good, to be honest. Wasn't, you know, making me happy. And uh, this was one of those series that went as a result of that. Um, the main reason being is I have been hammering this game pretty much every day for the past four years. And I've had some really, really great times on it. Um, I'm not ready to quit the game just yet. So <laughs> don't, don't, be, uh, don't be fearing that, so to speak. But... I'm just trying to uh, find a happy medium on YouTube for me right now because there was uh, there were some days there I was really waking up and dreading the thought of making YouTube videos, which is strange because this was something I initially started as a hobby and I found great joy in doing. Um, I have been blessed enough to actually make this into some sort of income, which I can live off. Uh, <laughs> them ramen noodle packets do help, but uh, it is enjoyable and I figure I'm still young when else am I going to have a chance to explore this avenue in my life? I may as well have a year or two out and see what's up. So that's where I am at this point. And I'm trying to slowly bring sort of enjoyment back into games. I don't know why, guys, but when I was maybe 14 or 15, I had no problem sitting down and playing a game for 10 hours straight. Nowadays, to get me to sit down and play a game for 30 minutes is a record. Um, and I don't know why. I find that the same with everything, actually. Movies, books games, any sort of consumable media, I just don't have, you know, I just don't have, I, f I feel like sitting down and starting it is the biggest task, and holy crap, Goodland has got a huge makeover at this point, hasn't it? Really good job done here, uh, I'm just taking a little look around here, this is Ad's chessboard, I believe, right? Looks really nice, I'm not great at chess, by the way, so, <laughs> I don't think I'll be playing that, um, and nice to see my archery game is still here. Nice to see my archery game is still here. Um, so, it was just like a, an extreme physical resistance. I had to play in most games there. And I was going through like, oh, what do I do with my life? You know, because I've sort of banked my next year on doing YouTube. Hadn't really applied for any jobs. Hadn't really got myself in the proper mindset of applying for any jobs. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was struggling mentally. And waking up every day just not ha not i hate when i do that i pronounce not with an, an a rather than a actual o um so i was just waking up apathetic every day i just didn't want to do anything i lay in bed and slept for 12 to 16 hours a day and when i did wake up i just drank a crap load of coffee and made videos and that was kind of the only way i could uh that was kind of the only way for me that i could actually um, somewhat be happy, you know, because when, you, when you're focused and when you're engaged and doing something, you actually forget about most things. It's kind of like a flow state, you know, it's, everything doesn't matter. Just the only task at hand that matters is this thing you're doing now. And for me, like, when I do get into those states making videos like I am now, like, I just really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy it. But nobody's, nobody hasn't won that game just yet, guys. Um, oh, no. Get away, get away, get, get away, there we go, um, and you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm still getting over it, man, one of the big things that I did to help me, um, just get out of that rut was, I owned this book, right, 
I own this book called uh, Feeling Good by Dr. David Burns, and I've, I've talked about this book a little bit before on my channel, but I want to just give it another recommendation. Um, it's a book, so I figure that, you know, I may, I may have some sort of, uh, you know, I may have a little bit of a depression or something, because there's no way someone wakes up every day just being sad like that for no reason, I figured. So I looked up, um, I didn't want to go to the doctors, because honestly, uh, just for me personally, I, I wanted to try and see what I could do myself first. Um, so I bought that book, Feeling Good by Dr. David Burns, and it's a book based on cognitive behavioral therapy, which is a type of therapy administered to people with mental disorders. So if you have anxiety, or if you have uh, depression, or if you have uh, any sort of mental uh, disorder going on, it is a guide, which basically... Uh, you know, I want to say it's. I want to say it's actually very similar to uh, Stoicism, the branch of uh, philosophy, Stoicism, that school of thought, because what cognitive behavioral therapy does is it's actually a. Uh, it's actually a step-by-step -step method of breaking down your thoughts into rational decisions, so you can actually outline on paper what you're going through. Um, so what the book tells you to do is. It, it, it brings up to your attention the amount of uh, sort of cognitive biases that you have. And what that means is the way your brain works in certain situations. So for me, I am a big black and white thinker. Either I'm really good at something or I'm really bad. And that has really applied to my entirety of my life. If I do a video and it doesn't become a hit, I'll think it's automatically bad, you know. If my video doesn't get the views I expect, that video's a failure. I'm a failure. And just looking at that uh, book in general... Help me understand, there's a lot of really good information in there, and it's relatively cheap. A lot of good exercises, and I think that, for me, that was the big part. Doing the exercise in that book, learning to understand my thoughts, and learning to understand what I was going through. Um, and I feel like I've just started to get a little bit of energy and momentum back in my life lately. Uh, ever since I've started implementing those. Um, by the way, today's video is just going to be me, me, me walking around. Um, as for Minecraft in the future, I'm probably going to aim for like an episode a week. Because I don't want to force myself to do anything, guys. Right now. Because I know I'll probably just scare myself away from the game. But I am going to try and slowly get back into into this. And I know pause is on and everyone else. So I might try and get something done there. But as I was saying, like, uh, if, if you've heard of the School of Thought Stoicism, it was, uh, I guess the two main Stoics was... Uh, Roman Empire, Marcus Aurelius, and... Oh, lordy! Run, 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 run. And uh, Seneca, I believe, was a Greek. I think so, he was a Greek. He was a uh, teacher to Nero, Roman Empire. No, was it Roman? Oh, what? What the hell? Nero. I'm, I'm not sure. Greek Greek or Roman, I'm not really sure. Um, I need a bed. Have I got a bed? Go away, I just want to... Dude, I'm first day in the server and you do this to me. I, I think I'm going through a bit of a lag issue here in the server. Which, honestly, I maybe has contributed to not playing a little bit. I don't know why, guys. I've upgraded my internet as well. So, I have two lanes, by the way. Oh, it's Chad. Um, so, what, what they were teaching was uh, break down your thoughts, you know. Break them down and learn what is causing the thoughts, so if you immediately have like a negative emotion uh, if you immediately have a negative emotion you want to think of what you were thinking of before that negative emotion came and uh, it was understanding where those thoughts came from and why um, and just trying to break down my mind has really helped a bunch at getting back into this um, I also uh, actually, actually also struggle a little bit with anxiety. Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but when I was younger, I had horrible anxiety. I used to fear the end of civilization, the end of the world, anything. Like, if it started flooding outside, I would cry because I thought the world was ending. It's really weird to describe. You probably laugh at that. But uh, it's definitely something that I I feared, and it still lingers. I think I've eliminated most of it. One of the things that the the psychiatrist I was seeing when I was younger taught me to do was anytime you feel like coming on, what you want to do is basically just tap your wrist 10 times and slow down and try and understand why. So, there you go. That, that's my spiel on how I've sort of helped myself come out of this, this rut. I don't know. I feel like when you are depressed for a period of time, 
No, I, I don't think what I had was uh, clinical depression, you know. Uh, if you do have clinical depression, I do recommend seeing a uh, your local GP, seeing what's up there. But, um, oh, this has been turned into a flower shop, hasn't it? Because uh, the banners need to be taken down. Too many entities to spawn. But, you know, just breaking my thoughts down has helped a bunch. And I feel a little bit better. Still got a long way to go, guys. Still got a long way to go. My sleeping pattern is still atrocious, so that probably doesn't help. Probably doesn't help at all. But some things that I have really been putting off lately, I've been tackling. Um, just, <laughs> just huge things, really. Christmas shopping has always been a bad one for me. Like I've always put that off until like December twentieth. I actually tackled it yesterday. All my Christmas shopping done in the space of forty minutes. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, <laughs> man. Like I don't get it. I, I just can't go out physically Christmas shopping. I just buy everything online. I don't know if you guys are the same. Um, but uh, I feel like I'm slowly coming out of this little period. I'm, I know, like, everyone... I think everyone goes through these sort of depressive episodes sometimes in their life. And it's hard to speak about it because, um, for me, it uh, where I'm from, you'll, you'll really just get told, like, toughen up, toughen up, man, you'll go through it, you'll go through it, yeah, man, just toughen up. And sometimes it isn't, it isn't just as easy as toughening up, um... I like the snow globe, though, that's been built. That's pretty cool. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. You really do. And, uh... I was gonna... Man, I, I hit my mind does this. I have something really decent to talk on, and then I just completely forget about it. It's not good at all. It is not good at all. Please, man, give me that thought back so I can talk about it now before I walk around aimlessly and say more gibberish. I don't think it's gonna give me it. And the worst part is, when you record with OBS, there is no pause button, so you just constantly have to record. Um, or stop your recording and start again. Which I probably could do at this point. So, uh, to summarize, I guess, I stopped playing Minecraft because I was just, you know, generally fed up with everything in my life at that point. Uh, anything I did made me really apathetic. I didn't feel like anything I was producing was of good quality. Uh, I just had huge resistance to playing the game. And, uh... If you ever do, by the way, see a YouTuber not posting a favorite series, uh, honestly, my best method of getting in contact with me via YouTube PMs, please do not post in the YouTube comments. We're Series X, we're Series Y. Because what that does, it just, it throws a snowball, and it's like a donut snowball, and you get everyone paneling on, yeah, Pyro, where's this here? And I'm just sitting there like, Urgh. like, I don't know why, it just takes so much fans of things and I need I need to stop doing that as well you know I I misinterpret what people are saying sometimes online like and I'm starting to give people the benefit of the doubt there that they don't understand or they didn't have the the background knowledge to understand um, what was going on there so in regards to this man cracked it will continue guys it will continue probably one episode a week I'm gonna work on I'm gonna blow up my house by the way I don't know I know if you guys know that or not but I'm gonna blow up my house and move um, I try to get a lot of cool labs on the go, but I'm going to aim for that, and, uh, we'll see. I'm not making any promises. I feel like when I make those promises to myself and the other people, I just ultimately end up letting you all down, which is not good, which is definitely not good. So, I'm rambling. I have nothing else to say. This was meant to be a small update video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and let me know... Let me know what, 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 let me know what, I don't know, I, I, I really just put this up as an update, so, yeah, hopefully you guys understand, uh, slowly getting a little bit better, day by day, and uh, hopefully we can hop on and make some fun content soon, uh, although that was another reason, by the way, uh, I feel like, as a YouTube, uh, personality, entertainer, whatever you want to call me, that a lot of people watch these videos to be entertained, of course, and I feel like most of the times you have to be the, the clown, you know, the YouTube clown. Um, make everybody laugh, make everybody happy. Um, and it is tough sometimes when you're going through your own sort of uh, personal battles that really make it hard for you to be happy. I think there was uh, a good little short story my dad used to tell me. Uh, and it was about this man uh, who went to the doctor and said, oh, you know, I'm... You know, I'm so depressed, doctor. I don't know what to do. And he goes, 
well, I know what will make you happy. You know, the Pachinko the Clown is in town tonight. Go and watch him and you'll be cheered right up. And the, the, the man starts crying and the doctor asks, why are you crying? And the man goes, but doctor, I am Pachinko the Clown. I am the clown, you know. He is the one that makes everyone laugh. And I feel like sometimes... I don't want to put videos out that are sad and depressing because people have come to expect happiness and laughter off you and they see you as this sort of personality and there's really enough negativity out there that I feel like contributing to it is probably not the best idea. Um, so it's kind of tough for me to boot up this game when I'm feeling like crap all the time about it uh, and in general to try and do something. But again, as I said, that's fading, so... There you go. There you go. I think the last thing I want to touch on here on this video is uh, another bad habit that I have, which really just depressed me during uh, producing content, was self-comparison. Um, when you're in a, a group like Minecraft, or I know a lot of other people outside of Minecraft who do this YouTube thing, and when you're in a group like that, uh, it's really easy to compare yourself to others, you know, and it's a bad habit that I'm sure all of us fall into. So when I was uh, when I was actually doing the Minecraft stuff, I was uh, I was checking out everyone else's videos and saying seeing what they were doing and checking that out and trying to take a bit from everything and putting it in my own videos. And uh, I really just wasn't seeing any sort of results. Um, and it is quite demotivating to put a lot a lot of work into uh, a video and get you know not not great uh, views on it and I know I hate talking about views because a lot of people say it alienates your subscriber base and I know it does to an extent. I think my response to that for me personally is just trying to stop that endless comparison with others you know. I, I said this before but I will never be an Etho or I'll never be a BWO or I'll never be a doc you know I'll just be me and I just need to concentrate on doing that in the future so I think the future direction of this Minecraft series is essentially just rambling on general topics that I like. I've been reading a load of books lately, probably close to one every two days. Um, not sure books by any means, like 300, 400, 500 page books. So I'm looking to really just uh, encapsulate that knowledge into these videos because I feel like uh, video games is a good format for spreading good ideas. Um, people can relate to the video content on screen but also informative and entertaining commentary that really enriches other people's lives is a great direction I feel like I want to bring this channel um, and even though that it may not be a huge success I still feel like I'll be doing some good because I know when I was 14 or 15 or 16 a lot of the ideas that I have now I would really like to learn back then um, because the the more you start doing this and the younger you start doing a lot of the good habits that uh, are recommended by people then in my opinion the more uh sort of enjoyment you'll get out of your life like stuff like meditation for me has been a lifesaver you know just the the uh, uh, yeah the act of detaching yourself from um compulsive thinking you know so that, i think that's what i'm gonna do i was gonna do a book review on my channel um but i think instead of doing that i'm going to use the books as a topic for discussion i'm going to read i'm going to just discuss the topics and use this series as just an education, not an educational vessel, but, you know, just a topic to do that. And, of course, I will throw in some collab stuff. I'm going to try and do collabs, but I'm not going to base entire videos around them. So it will probably be like five minutes here and there with people if I can. I know Chad's on, but I'm not going to be doing anything with him today just because I wanted to put up an update video. So if you guys could give me some feedback uh, and let me know what you think, I would appreciate that. And I will see you guys I'm going to try and get one out maybe in a couple of days, like four or five days. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully you understand where I'm coming from on this one. Uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.